Meet the Press decided to have a debate on legalizing marijuana, and what they're doing is responding to a New York Times piece that basically came out in favor of national legalization. Okay, not this state-by-state -state bullshit, but national acceptance and legalization of marijuana. So, do they agree or disagree on Meet the Press? Guys, take it away. I disagree with them uh, on the larger issue. Uh, I don't know what they've been smoking up there. They go up to the office, the haze is so thick. I can't see them up there. Uh, I know that at least in terms of revenue, there's a great deal right. of revenue, right? 184 million, something like that. Also, at least these early statistics uh, show that there's a slight decrease in crime. I think it's about 3% a year over year from 2013 to 2000. So it's that's still what's early. It's still really yeah. early. It's true. I think what and marijuana legalization as a budget issue seems yeah. a lot of tough for parents. We, we can parents. make a lot of money on tobacco also, yeah. but we don't want that. <laughs> but I mean, to me, when I think of grass, I think of something to walk on. I think a pot is something you put a plant in. <laughs> and oh, it grows. <laughs> such a square. That's where I, I know. Such a square. That's where I'm coming from. I, I think it's important to, to have the debate, but I think it's. I, I wonder. What's the rush? I mean, why not see what's going on? Pardon the pun. Yeah. And I do think this is good. <laughs> what's the rush with all those people in jail who have lost their lives simply because they did a substance that wasn't hurting anybody else? What's the rush with over a trillion dollars wasted on the war on drugs and drug usage rates have actually gone up? <laughs> That's so funny. A trillion dollars wasted and it didn't work at all. <laughs> What's the rush with 60,000 people that died on the border in a literal war because it's a drug war? <laughs> What's the rush with making the cartels incredibly strong because you gave them a monopoly on the drug market? So instead of Walgreens and CVS and any pharmaceutical company making money off marijuana, now it's a drug lord who cuts off heads. <laughs> What's the rush? I want the drug lord to have more power and to cut off more heads. Heads being cut off is okay. <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> Grass, I walk on it. Pot, I put a plant in it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, and I'm giving my opinion. This is why mainstream media sucks donkey dicks. It's a bunch of, you know, people who are, oh, act like you're in polite company, have the right posture, dress the right way, talk in a very calm manner, and say things that make no fucking sense. You think maybe it would make sense to have on, oh, I don't know, an expert on the situation as you're talking about drug policy? Maybe invite on Dr. Carl Hart, whose life's work is about this, who can give you information and facts and data and tell you what makes sense and doesn't make sense? No, no, no. Take a bunch of political blowhards who don't know their ass from their elbow, give them a seat and say, give, give us your opinion based on absolutely no information whatsoever. Why should I care what you have to say about drugs? Why should I care what any of you have to say about drugs? You don't have any expertise in it. You're just people with an opinion, and a fucking very ignorant opinions at that. Look, it's unbelievable, man. From uh, David Brooks joking, what have they been smoking up there? Ha ha ha, you get it? It's like they've been smoking marijuana because they want to legalize marijuana. It's, it was a joke. Is it, am I funny? <laughs> oh, stop it. And, oh, uh, I love the one fact that was thrown out there. Well, look, tax revenue has gone up and crime has gone down. <laughs> what did they say? Oh, it's too early. It's too early to, to look at facts. You have to wait longer for the facts to come out, and then we'll disregard them down the road, too. But just disregard... No, they don't count. Stop. Facts don't matter. And then the dumbest point of all, I don't know if you guys heard it. There was one woman there who chimed in uh, when they said, well, yeah, sure, we're, the revenue is up, but we make money off of tobacco, too. And that's not good. Oh, you idiot. You just made our point for us. Yeah, we make money off tobacco, and tobacco is legal, as it should be, okay? So, of course marijuana should be legal. She made it seem like that helped her argument. Like, yeah, you know, we tax alcohol, too. And that's not good. Yes, it is! It's how horribly did prohibition work? The mafia got strong because of alcohol prohibition, you dunces! How do they not know that? That's when, where the mafia got all of its power because you banned alcohol being sold by legal businesses so it went underground with speakeasies and the mafia created it and made money off of it. And by the way, there was no regulation so sometimes there were bad batches that ended up killing you with one sip. 
Okay, that's what created the mafia. This is what keeps the cartels in Mexico so strong. Legalize, tax it, regulate it. Enough with the nonsense. We have people who know nothing about the policy giving their policy opinion. It's such a sad joke, and it shows you why new media is kicking old media's ass, because that is old media in a nutshell. A bunch of old morons who don't know anything about anything when it comes to facts and data and policy going out there and giving their opinion as if they have the authority on the issue. No, clearly, if anybody knows the details, they know that what they're saying is mind-numbingly stupid.